All right, so supposedly the Pinoy Angelfish is supposed to be like the bee's knees in the Angelfish Aquarium hobby today. Really? Supposedly. But is it though? Why? That's what this video is all about. We can get down and dirty and figure out what's the deal with this mysterious Pinoy Angelfish. Where is it from? Why is it a Pinoy Angelfish? What makes it a point? What's the big deal with the Pinoy Angelfish? We're about to learn today. I've been ducking this video for so long, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why. I recently did a video of my top 10 favorite angelfish and why they are my favorite angelfish. And my man Roz from Tabata Aquatics hit me up asking me how come the Pinoy angelfish was not on my list. And um, I told him the reason why is because I could not explain the Pinoy angelfish in a small sound bite of a, a you know of a video with, with nine other fish. It had to have its own video because there was a lot going on with this fish. So this is it. This is my attempt to explain the Pinoy angelfish in its most basic and most understandable form. The biggest problem with the Pinoy angelfish, you wanna know what it is? And I'm gonna do a rant after this at the end, so stick around to the end for my rant. But uh, let's check out Roz, what, what Roz has to say. Is the Pinoy a designer name that they use just to sell a certain type of uh, angelfish? Or is the Pinoy a certain breed that they hybridize together in order? Is it, is it, I don't know, uh, is it, naturally occurring in the wild. So tell me, what is it about? Is it about the the body shape, the size, the breed, where it come from, or is it the color? I guess there's several questions, but help me out. <laughs> By the way, in my research for doing this video, I hit up so many Facebook pages, joined so many Facebook pages, and I was, I, you know, I normally stay away from these type of things, but um, I was happy to say that the Pinoy Angelfish and Angelfish Facebook pages in general were very welcoming and, um, and, and forthcoming with any information because I wanted to give you, anybody could read something out of the paper, right? They could read a little article. I wanted to give you something that people told me firsthand. So I did it. I joined, I, I went into the dreaded Facebook and I was pleasantly surprised. Quite simply put, and this is the most basic way I can explain what a Pinoy angelfish is. The Pinoy angelfish is the same as any other angelfish. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, the Pinoy angelfish is a color morph, okay? It is a sequence of genes to make it look a certain way. Um, it doesn't walk on land, doesn't fly. I mean, the fact that it is a special um, fish is it's, it's mainly because of that incredible iridescent color. It, it, that iridescent color on it changes the whole dynamic of what the fish looks like. I'm not going to lie to you. I, um, some people say that they're kind of aggressive. I don't believe that um, to be true more with this this type of fish, this type of angelfish than any other angelfish. Um, I've had some pretty aggressive angelfish that weren't, um, you know, Pinoy. Um, but that might be because of um, inbreeding. But at any rate, um, the Pinoy is just another morph of angelfish. It's a sequence of genes to make them look a certain type of way. Hello, I'm Don from New York Gold. And Aquafunk reached out to me a couple of days ago and he asked me, he's like, somebody asked him what a Pinoy Angel was and he said he didn't have 100% of an answer for it, so he asked me. I didn't have an answer either. I always thought a Pinoy it had to do with the finish and I don't think I was right, but I made a little drawing. So, can you see that? Uh, we'll call this a regular angelfish. Now, I thought a Pinoy had more pronounced finage and maybe even like a, like a lace type of thing on some of them but I don't think it laces anything to do with it but I, you see how this is more like rounded and full same thing on the bottom compared to the other one I thought that's what I thought the difference between a Pinoy and a regular angelfish was but I don't know I went to the internet and sometimes it's easy to just look at pictures and just kind of figure out what it looks like whatever but you really have to you got to dig to find the answer I'm guessing so uh I'm hoping Mr. Funk Doug can find the answer for us. And that's why we have channels like Funk. So we don't have to do the homework. So I'm hoping to find out myself the real definition of a Pinoy angel. So, Funk, help me out, brother. How do I identify? All right. Um, go to a reputable reader. If you can walk and, and walk onto the property, um, wherever it may be, and see the parents, that would be helpful. But um, you have to go to somebody you trust. That's the first and best way to know you have a Pinoy. The second way is visually um and that's where the problem comes in especially if you buy it online because you can't inspect these fish as babies and that's how they're going to be sent to you as babies because the blue doesn't show up until they grow up a little bit some blue and it is the the it's a it's not the same as a philippine blue all right the pinoy angelfish is not the same as a philippine blue 
So when people say, yeah, I have a Philippine blue Pinoy angelfish, that's, that's redundant. Let me tell you why. It takes two blue jeans and one dark jean to come up with the Pinoy jean. So that's like me saying, yeah, I'm a Puerto Rican from Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying? It takes a Philippine blue to create a Pinoy. So you can have a Philippine blue, you can have a Pinoy. You can have a... Uh, and I guess if you breed them back into each other and, and then you get the, the blue with the Pinoy. Listen, they're not the same. Um, blues are blues. Pinoys have a very striking iridescent color coming from its head up its little back nuchal hump area and then up the back of its head. But it's not 100% guaranteed that's gonna, that's gonna come out on your fish, right? It's a it's a gene. Genes do what they do. A gene is gonna do what a gene is gonna do, right? Um, so looking at them and, and saying, that's like trying to figure out if an angelfish is a male or female when they're young just by looking at them. You can't do it. Um, you gotta have to let them get up a little bit, let their colors come in, then you can know if you truly have a Pinoy. You might have a Pinoy that doesn't have the ir ir iridescent colors. It's a recessive gene, like I said. So um, you really need to know where you're getting these from. Go on these Facebook pages. Um, find out, hey, who, who can I get real Pinoys from? Hey, listen, if uh, if this, this video gave you any type of value in your fish keeping hobby, please consider hitting the sub button, the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the video, let me know if you've ever had any Pinoys, or what you could bring to the conversation as far as Pinoys goes, if you've kept them. Um, it, these are some small gestures on your part, but it's huge for my channel. As you do these things, it helps me grow. When I grow, I can spread more of the word, so I thank you in advance. Hello there, this is George, Aquabo's channel. I want to take a quick second of your time to talk about what I hate about Pinoy angelfish. Now guys, a lot of people, every time they see a blue uh, angelfish, they think it's straight up Pinoy. Every blue angelfish out there, uh, people don't do their research, they think they are uh, Pinoy angelfish. So like this here behind me, I have some blue avatars. These are not Pinoy, they are different strain of uh, blue angels. So every angel fish out there, they are from the wild. They've been bred, inbred, crossbred uh, many, many times to get those colors. And the gentleman in Philippines created the uh, Philippine blues, and that's why they call Philippine blues. So now if you have other things added to the Philippine blues, I don't think they are called Philippine blues now. Like the people call zebra, this and that. So pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Later. Yeah, yeah, he's completely right. Um, there is a lot of, and that's what I was saying at the beginning of this video. It's the verbiage people use. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I mentioned this. If I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video, then I'll mention it again. I, I, I witnessed um, a, uh, a back and forth between two people on a Facebook um, page. Um, they were both very helpful. And they was having like a little back and forth. And I'm reading, I'm like, I don't understand why, what's the beef? Um, and at the end, it turned out that they were saying the same thing. And, and that's the problem is the verbiage. You know, one person can say this, one person can say that. Mean the same thing, but it's just, it gets confusing to people, you know, outside of the conversation. So, um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of shenanigans going on with this fish. And a lot of it's because of the almighty dollar. All right. I think the word Pinoy has a lot to do with uh, saying the word Pinoy. Pinoy. You know what I mean? Um, you guys want to know what Pinoy means? It's where the place is where the thing was developed. That's like saying, you know, I have a Brooklyn angelfish, or, you know, I have a Lakeland angelfish, or I have a Tampa angelfish, or I have a um, St. Louis angelfish. The word Pinoy is not a Latin word that means anything. It's just where the fish came from, where it was developed. And it just happened to be Pinoy Philippines. So that's Pinoy. You guys want to know how you take care of a Pinoy angelfish? Because I did see a... a, a <laughs> and this, this this really made me giggle, giggle. Like 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 I remember when I saw it, I was just shook my head. To... I saw a video, how to care for a Pinoy angelfish. The same as any other angelfish. It's just a different color ration of angelfish. Granted, it's a pretty awesome looking combination. Um, of uh, 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 you know, um, coloration of a, of an angelfish. It, it makes. Uh, what would be a regular um, patterning on a fish pop a little bit more because it does have that crazy iridescence. But um, 
yeah, there's nothing special, super, super special about this fish except for its looks. Um, and, and to be honest with you, the looks are striking. I, I cannot deny it. I would love to get me some Pinoy, some black Pinoy's because like you, you, you know, black, but this adds another element to the black. It's just, it's just a little, a little, a little zip, a little zippity doo, a little, a little, ta ha ha ha, a little razzle dazzle. Um, extra to your fish. Listen, listen to me, angelfish breeders. If this does not apply to you, then you know who you are. But if it does, stop it. Stop it. Stop giving all these fish all these crazy names just so that you can make a buck. Let's be real, okay? I have seen with my own two peepers, people selling fish, calling them Pinoy, just because they had one little bit of Pinoy in its bloodline. Maybe it was a little bit blue. You don't know it's a Pinoy, but you're selling these fish, you're giving them fancy names so you can jack up the price, and that's not cool. That's my biggest problem with angelfish breeders. I love angelfish to death. But the breeders are always trying to French up the names to add a little bit extra on the back end. And y'all need to stop because you're making it confusing for everybody else in the world. You know what I mean? If it was very distinct, this is a Pinoy. This is not a Pinoy. This is not a Pinoy. This is not a Pinoy. Then it'd be simple for everybody. You know what I mean? But you guys want to drop these little, little extra stuff to raise the price. Stop it. If, if, if there was a Pinoy, a Pinoy um, parent, six generations down the line, three generations down the line, don't call it. If it was not, if it's not 50 50, do not put the word Pinoy in it. That's simple. If it's not a Pinoy and another fish, that offspring should not be designated Pinoy. Does it have Pinoy in it? Yeah. It's somewhere in its gene sequence, yeah. But most every angelfish have something else in their gene sequence. So for you to call that fish a Pinoy is dishonest. Stop it. You dirty, greedy, rotten bat. All right, all right. Yeah, uh, there's my little rant. Um, yes, I was having a little fun with it. I was, it was a serious topic, though, but I was having a little bit of fun with it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, check out my playlist, All Things Angel. Check them out. Check them out. See if you like anything you like. And the guys that I was on here with, hit them up. Hit them up. Check out their channels. Do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Bang, 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 b